All right, man, let's talk about Lomachenko responds to Bob Arum saying that he wants Shakir Stevenson and him to go ahead and thump. But uh, when Shakir Stevenson said that, you know, he had 130, he ain't really looking up to go to 35. Well, Bob Arum was like, what about a tune-up? I mean, what about a catch weight? And, you know, and then we're kind of like, you know, Shakir really didn't give an answer or... When he kept pressing Oscar Valdez, people said that um, that he was ducking Lomachenko, right? Now Lomachenko has gave his response. Let's talk about it. Check out the Box News playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. And Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and Twitter, all links in the description. All right. So uh, Loma said that he wants... To respond, they said, well, you want to fight Shakir Stevenson? He said, I'm at 35, and I want to be undisputed at 135 pounds. Now, it's a rumor going around that Bob Barum is going to ask the WBO, which people acronym, what Bob ordered to order Camboso to fight Lomachenko. Now, all Camboso got to do is drop the belts, and he ain't got to fight Lomachenko. Now, he's been hell bent on fighting in his home country of Australia. He went back... He got back a couple of days ago. I guess he really didn't care about seeing Lomachenko and Comey, which, you know, Comey got a chance. Most people like me believe Lomachenko going to beat him. I got Lomachenko. If you didn't see my final thoughts, stop at Richard Comey in the ninth round, okay? But that's just my opinion. It don't make it, you know, fact. But um, he basically said that, uh, you know, they said, you know, Cambosos got a hero's welcome at the crib. So it seemed like... He's telling the truth that he huge in Australia, right? But, uh, but he, you know, rumor on the street is that Bob Arum is going to, you know, basically ask the WBO to force uh, Lomachenko to be uh, Camboso's mandatory. Lomachenko, I think, number one. And, like, two wing, two sanction belt, but I know WBO is one. I think the WBC might be one, you know. But, uh, you know, a lot of people... You know, not liking that. You know, they want to see Devin Haney get a shot or Camboso get a tune-up at the crib or whatever. But, like I said, Lomachenko ain't did nothing since losing to Tiafima Lopez. He ain't did nothing but beat Mayoshi Nakatani. And I, and I, not, Mayoshi Nakatani was a guy that was rumored to retire due to brain bleeding. All right? And they've got him out of retirement to fight Lomachenko. So, you know, but Lomachenko said he is at 35 and he want to be undisputed at 35. Now, people can go around... Saying Lomachenko ducked Shakir Stevenson, all right? Like they said, Shakir Stevenson ducked Lomachenko, even though neither one was a duck. Shakir at 130 pounds. Now, then Shakir Stevenson said he wanted to go to 35 for George Camboso on the belts. Then he basically reneged on it. Yeah, but that's different. Camboso got three belts. Some people identify him with having four or five belts because of the ring belt and the franchise WBC title. That's different. Why am I going to fight Lomachenko? who's still fighting in ballrooms when Ken Boston was talking about he can do 80,000 people in Australia. I mean, obviously, do the math. You want to fight for 5,600 people in a small room or you want to fight for 80,000 people with, you know, with big money versus Ken Boston with most of the titles on the line. You know, obviously, okay, Lomachenko don't bring nothing to the table. As much as they try to push the narrative that he is he's this big star, he, he, he ain't feeling nothing up. You know, I bet Bob Barrow probably losing money on him or, or barely breaking even. Or he just being extremely cheap, you know. And Bob Barrow should just be below 140 pounds because he can't afford the welterweights. You know what I'm saying? He can't afford the heavyweights. You know, remember he said he lost money on Wilder Fury too. You know? So he always complained about, you know, money lost, and money he ain't had, this, that, and the third. But if you always complain about Spending money, you should stay down there with the small small guys and spend small money. Okay, ain't really no big money pullers at 126 pounds. I mean, that's pocket change. You know, he buy Browns and just promote guys below 140, and that's fine. You know, and that's just the way it should be. But is anybody going to scream, well, Lomachenko dunking not too long, ducking not too long ago. Lomachenko said he can go down to 130, 130 pounds. He still can make 130. You know, him and Shakir Stevenson did spar. You know, Shakir said he got the best of them. You know, Lomachenko never really responded sparring. But Ryan Garcia said he got the best of Lomachenko. Lomachenko basically threatened to say, I, well, I got the tape. Never revealed the tape. Never said he was going to say the tape. But 
like I said before, you know, only you know, Loma know the only only way it makes sense if you go down to 126 and fight fight Shakir for a belt, a belt that he already had years ago. It don't make no sense. And Shakir just got to 126 pounds, you know, and he and he can't get Lomachenko. That's all Bob Aaron trying to trying to, do, trying to do. That's all he's trying to do. He's trying to get Shakir Stevenson to get out the way of Oscar Valdez. They always screaming Shakir Duck. Oh, he ducking their vet. They ducking Oscar Valdez. But y'all see them fighting each other next. Why ain't nobody trying to fight Shakir Stevenson? Shakir Stevenson had the biggest viewership on regular ESPN last year. He the only fighter crack a million. Not Valdez, not the vet. They, not Oscar. I mean, not, uh, Jose Ramirez. You know, not so and so. Uh, Josh Taylor, not Pedraza. Not none of those guys. Not Tiafima Lopez. Shakir was the only guy to crack a million. Not Lomachenko. Not Comey. He was the only guy. You know, but, you know, like I said before, Lomachenko, you know, once you beat him, they're going to say, well, he old, he had three or four hundred for amateur fights, and, you know, he beat you, then it's the greatest shit since sliced bread. You know, it ain't like you get a career high payday in most situations. Maybe a valid ass fight him, or, you know, the right there, somebody I knew you way fight him, maybe it's a career high payday, but for a guy like Shakir Stevenson, it's a good, it's probably a good payday, it's probably a career high payday, but it's not going to be your highest for long. You know, if they put the effort into, you know, Effort they put into Lomachenko for uh, pushing him, uh, you know, pushing him like they do on ESPN. They put that in the Crawford and Shakir Stevenson. They might have real stars. Nobody going to accept Lomachenko as an American white fighter. No, no matter how hard you push, no matter how hard they try. That's just the honest truth. Nobody going to look at him as a guy from Iowa, a guy from Nebraska, a guy from California. A guy from New York, upstate New York, New York City. Nobody going to look at him like that. D.C., Florida. Nobody. He's a Ukrainian. You know, even I think them and the Russians got beef. A lot of them guys was mad at Lomachenko because he was, he was running around with the Russians. He was friends with the Russians. And a lot of the Ukrainian people said, you know, basically, he crossed the line. But as far as the fight, at this point, what sense do it make? Unless Loma get all the belts. For Shakira, it don't make no sense unless Loma move down. And for Sh- Loma, it don't make no sense. Loma already had that belt. So, unless Shakira become undisputed at 130, and his promotional company not really pushing that, they pushing the guy coming up in the they who just moved up to Nevada to fight Oscar Valdez. You know, Bob said, well, Val- Valdez told the fans in the interview that he wants Shakira Stevenson, but Bob said, well, you know, he told us he won't uh, Nevada. That's not what he told us. So, I mean, it is what it is. Bob Brown can't make his fighters do nothing. What difference is he is from Allen Eddie Hearn? If you're the promoter and you control everything and you can't force the fighters to do something, maybe, like Crawford said, maybe the ball is truly in the fighters' court. Maybe it's really what the fighters want. Maybe it's truly the fighters' fighters of this generation hiding behind the promoters. And it's looking like that. that's the way it is. But as far as this fight... It's a really good fight. It's a tactical fight. I think as far as for the fans, it's a it's a pedestrian fight. It's a boring fight. But the one thing about it is, you know, if I'm Shakir Stevenson, we probably got to do this in Atlanta. And I don't know if Atlanta, if I'm going to go to Atlanta. You know? Too many people that look like Shakir Stevenson down there. But, t- you know, ticket pulling while Shakir Stevenson should fight out of Atlanta and fight at the crib. You know, and eventually when you get to that level, you can headline in Vegas. But, you know, bringing Loma to Atlanta, that'd be dope. But uh, as far as this fight, I don't know. You know, Shakir Stevenson is a big guy. He don't bring the power that Lopez bring, but he bring other things in there. So, so right now, obviously, Loma would probably be the favorite because he established that 135 and he's seasoned. But if anybody that can go up there and, you know, tactically outpoint him, I think it would be Shakir Stevenson. Above Gary Russell and above, you know, Devin Haney. I think he just polished. So, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Want to make a financial donation to the channel. Cash app CJGood313. Venmo CJGood313. PayPal link description. All my information is there. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video quest. All those social media links there. Appreciate the love and support. Check the box in this playlist. Slomachenko ducking like they said Shakira was ducking. I never thought nobody was ducking. It just didn't make no sense on the business end. 
or the championship level in. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think in the conversation. One time for the one time. Peace.